Hi, this is Planet Mitch from Planet5D.com with a quick overview of Light Zone, a program for relighting still photographs. There's three sections for the main window. The left hand side shows you predefined styles that you can apply to your images with a previewer up here. The middle section shows the photograph that you're working on. This one happens to be one of my vacation photos from several years ago from Sanibel Island, which is a great place in Florida. And then on the right hand side we have um, the layers are going to appear here in the right hand black area. And I'll show you what this preview what the zone mapper is in just a second. But let's let's apply a an high dynamic range preset called Sunset Darker. You can see that quickly it relights the entire image. It's brought out some of the darkness and has changed some of the brighter tones in here. Here's a button up at the top which shows you the original image if you hold it down and then you can see what the changes were. So you can see it, it quickly brought out those those darks and, and made it look somewhat like an HDR photo. One of the cool things about Light Zone is that you can reapply those. This probably will be too much but let's see what happens. So you can keep applying the same or different filters or presets on top of others. Again, here's the original and the updated one. Each one of these comes out in a layer over here on the right hand side and you can adjust many of the uh, features of that, changing the opacity, changing the blending mode, those kinds of things. So I'm going to quickly go back out of those and show you what happens with the relight tools that are over here on the right hand side. Uh, quickly there's the zone mapper, there's a relight tool, you can do sharpening and blurring, you can change the hue and saturation, the color balance and the white balance and all those good kind of things that you can normally do in Photoshop. Um, the spot and the, the clone are, are good but they're not quite as good as Photoshop in my opinion. But let's look at the zone mapper very quickly. The zone mapper uses this black and white representation of your photograph and has broken the image down into 16 black and white zones or, or low zones. I don't know whether they're Ansel Adams zones or not, but, but there are 16 of them. And you can see in the upper preview as you roll over these zones, which parts of your image are the lighter and the darker and represented by these tones. So you can quickly decide, let's say I want to bring up the darker sections uh, from here on up and I can click and drag those and it will bring the darker sections up. It also compresses the uppers a little bit. If you decided that you didn't want to uh, compress those, you can click and lock those into place and then just bring these tones up, not impacting the uppers. You can also drag the uppers down if you wanted to. So you can play with the zone mapper in quite a few different ways and fool with the tones that are in your image. Uh, quickly closing that, let's look at the relight tool. It gives you a quick first shot at improving your image. Again, you can play with the highlights and the shadows and all of these different aspects. Um, and you can also reapply that same tool over and over to see what happens. I'm going to close each one of these just for fun and let's start over. Um, I happen to be a fan sometimes of the Orton effect. We'll show you a link to that in my site in a few minutes. The Orton effect gives you kind of a dreamy, airy look. You can apply that. I haven't found a way to do it in Aperture. You can do it in layers in Photoshop, but it's really easy to do in, in light, um, light Zone. I'm going to apply two relights. The second one I'm going to apply a screen to, which makes it very bright. But then I'm going to apply a, oops, not a sharpen, but a Gaussian blur. And I'm going to set it at about 25, somewhere in that range. And granted, it looks very blurry, but what you're going to do is set the blending mode to multiply. And you see it becomes this very airy light looking thing. Obviously I think this is a little too dark. So let's use the opacity tool and and bring that back down. And there's a quick overview of the before and after and light zone.
In this segment of our Light Zone Overview, we're going to talk about regions, which is a very powerful tool that lets you select certain areas of the image to work on while avoiding the other areas. I'm going to throw in a relight um, tool here, just let it do its default things. And then I'm going to select a region and say I only want to mess with the internal highlight area of the photo. And so I'm going to use the region tool to select this area. Notice that it instantly took all of the areas outside of that zone and left them alone. You can uh, modify the, the range of where it, it starts and stops by taking the inner portion and dragging that so it gives you more of a graduated or very abrupt feel if you drag it out very close. If I turn off the tool, you'll see that that's, that's pretty darn harsh. Um, I double click to start it again. If I draw that in closer, now you see that the, the edges are very fuzzy like you do in Photoshop. Um, but the region's still there, so I can turn that on and change the region if I, if I would like. The other thing you can do with the regions is you can invert them. So if you click this box down at the bottom, you've inverted it. So now you're dealing with the outer areas as opposed to the inner area. So you can, you can change that portion of it. Obviously, you can do the same functionality that you did with the, with the relight um, based on those, those particular regions. The other thing you, you can do with those, and you won't see me do it, but I'm going to do copy. I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do another relight. And let's say that that first one was on the inside, but now let's not do a relight. Let's do uh, a sharpen. And the sharpen, I'm going to put it really, make it really obnoxious so you can see what I'm doing. But then I'm going to paste in the region, and you'll see that it's only being applied to that center section. Um, going in and selecting that, you can you can move those around. You can define regions on different layers, obviously, but you can also copy them if you want to apply them to multiple layers. So that's a, a, another really nice feature of LightZone that helps you focus in on certain parts of your image that you want to, to relight and leave the rest of the image alone.